A diss track directed at him by NBA Youngboy was addressed by Charlemagne the God on Tuesday's edition of The Breakfast Club. In doing so, Charlemagne made a joke about the rapper's immature brain and declared he had no interest in confronting him. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. On the no place called Grave Digger Mountain. The hell like I'm doing on Grave Digger Mountain if it ain't Halloween. Charlemagne said. The young brother said he wasn't big on fatherhood. We all should be big on fatherhood. He added. But he's 24 years old, so his prefrontal cortex hasn't even fully developed yet. He'll start thinking rationally once he turns 25, maybe. In a diss song called Act a Donkey, NBA Youngboy asked Charlemagne to visit Grave Digger Mountain. Hey, tell Charlemagne I invited the Grave Digger Mountain. They don't care today. It's Notably, young boy managed to secure a live donkey for the film, even with the short notice. Get in your shit, bitch, I'll show you how to act a donkey. Say what? But a lot of folks thought young boy had gone too far. When reporting on the tune, the Jasmine brand stated on social media, it's not that deep. The Breakfast Club has long featured a segment called Donkey of the Day, which typically elicits a non-heated response. The fact that young boy chose to release a full diss track is akin to someone becoming extremely irate after winning Shaqt and a fool on Inside the NBA. On the other hand, young boy is well known for his lightning-fast reactions to being made fun of. The new song 8am in Charlotte by Drake has generated a lot of online discussion. Now, users have turned their attention to other lines from the song, in which they believe he dissed NBA young boy. You young boys take some of that money and set it aside. Not having enough to pay your tax is a federal crime, he raps. NBA young boy previously shaded him on his track Fuck the Industry part, too, which he released in May. <laughs> Told me that he fuck with Dirk, damn, that shit getting to me. Tell me that he like the shit I'm doing, but can't do shit with me. So when we cross our ways, fuck what you say, bitch, you my enemy, he rhymed. Although it's still only a theory, NBA Youngboy recently used social media to express some harsh remarks in response to Drake. Many people believe they were a reaction. Try again he wrote. Consider Drake's latest song to be a dig against NBA Youngboy. Unexpectedly, Drake has dropped a new song titled 8AM in Charlotte. It appears to be directed towards his once friend now foe Kanye West. You niggas obsessed with me and it's not on no hetero vibe. The song, which is the most recent entry in his venerable timestamp series, was made available exclusively on Instagram on Thursday morning, along with a music video that also features his five-year-old son Adonis Green. Handle beef so quiet, you think that I'm letting it slide. The Six Next God attempts to regain his position at the top of the hip-hop food chain by speaking braggadocio's yet contemplative rhymes with a slick wordplay and cunning double entendres over a soulful, boom-bap-flavored beat from Conductor Williams, the producer known for West Side Gun's Grice de Next thing you know, we tiptoeing past enemy lines. Drake this mentions everyone in the song, including Michael Jackson, Adele, Shania Twain, DJ Screw, Central C, and 21 Savage. At one point in the song, Drake compares himself to the late king of pop. Diss me so long ago, we making your memories fly. However, the internet is talking about the person he doesn't mention because in his third and last verse, Drizzy seems to be making a subtle jab at can i conspiracy theories start floating around like the kennedy guy i'll probably hold a grudge against you guys till i'm 75 he raps hey niggas lying for a living i couldn't relate we all gotta lay in the bed we make but that couldn't be drake you forced a lot of fake love when real ones stood in your face that's why you got deserted by your niggas like pudding and cake I got you on camera bowing down with the footage is safe. Thank God, another USB to put in the safe. He then closes out the song by declaring, Not saying I'm the best at what I do. I'm just saying that it's me versus whoever wanna lose. Pick any one of the who's who's, I got two two seconds for new crews. RIP to the DJ from Houston, we lose screws. Prior to the release of their respective album Certified Lover Boy and Donda in 2021, Kanai West and Drake were at odds, exchanging insulting social media posts and lyrical insults. Reuniting for the free Larry Hoover Benefit concert in Los Angeles that December was supposed to be the end of their feud. But less than a year later, Drizzy seemed to imply on his song Circo Loco that their truce was nothing more than a favor to rap a lot records head J Prince. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe.